everyone and welcome to Storytime with Miss Yumi. Today's book is Mr. Puskins, A Love Story by Sam Lloyd. This is the story of a little girl called Emily and her dear cat Mr. Puskins. Emily adored Mr. Puskins. Each morning she would invent fun games for Mr. Puskins to play. In the afternoons she'd brush his long fur coat and tell him, Oh, Mr. Puskins, what a handsome boy you are. I do love you ever so much. And each night, Emily would snuggle up in bed and read Mr. Puskins a special story. But Mr. Puskins never listened. The girl's constant babbling, blah de blah 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 bored his whiskers off. He wanted nothing more than this dull life. So one night, he left. He went to places he wasn't meant to go, and he did things he wasn't meant to do, and he made friends with the pesky cat gang. Life without Emily was such naughty fun. Meow, 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 meow. But time passed and things changed. The rain fell and an icy wind blew. The things Mr. Puskins wasn't supposed to do weren't fun anymore, and his new friends weren't really very nice. How lovely it would be to have someone brush his fur and tell him how much they loved him. He felt all alone. Then down the gray streets fluttered a tatty old poster. It was a picture of Mr. Puskins. He stared at the photo. What a bad-tempered cat he looked. Emily had given him everything a cat could ever dream of, but he had never been nice to her. How sorry he felt. Mr. Puskins found a phone. He dialed the number from the poster and waited anxiously. Someone answered. Meow, whimpered Mr. Puskins in a very sad little voice. Mr. Puskins, is that you? Oh, thank goodness, said Emily. Wait there, I'll come and get you. Mr. Puskins sat patiently. Would Emily find him? Did she still love him? He waited and waited, but Emily didn't come. Then from over the mountains, he heard a car. Mr. Puskins' heart leapt. It was Emily. His dear Emily was coming for him. The car got near and near, and then boom, sped straight past. Meow, wailed Mr. Puskins. Emily doesn't love me anymore. But then, the car screeched to a halt, eek, and Emily jumped out. Mr. Puskins, my beautiful Mr. Puskins, she cried. I didn't recognize you. Emily scooped up her dear cat. At last they were together again. This is the end of the story of a little girl called Emily and her dear cat Mr. Puskins. Mr. Puskins adores Emily. Every evening he cuddles her and purrs gently while she reads to him. Now both Emily and Mr. Puskins realize how lucky they are to have each other. And that was Mr.